Hey, good morning. Welcome to day 19 of Pray the Psalms. Today we're going to look at Psalm 67. So let me read that for us. May God be merciful and bless us. May his face smile with favor on us. May your ways be known throughout the earth, your saving power among people everywhere. May the nations praise you, O God. Yes, may all the nations praise you. Let the whole world sing for joy because you govern the nations with justice and guide the people of the whole world. May the nations praise you, O God. Yes, may all the nations praise you. Then the earth will yield its harvests and God, our God, will richly bless us. Yes, God will bless us and people all over the world will fear him. So as I went through the exercises of the four questions as I read this psalm um, this morning, the words that kind of uh, stuck out for me, there was three of them. There was, well, merciful in verse one, favor, so mercy and favor. And then in verse two, this idea of saving power. I think sometimes when I'm looking at um, scripture and um, working into a prayer, sometimes I look at you know, words like this, and, and the prayer really is just a reminder for me. Words like mercy and favor and, and, and saving power are a reminder that will drive my prayer to remember that God has shown us mercy, um, that God is showing us his favor, um, that he does have the saving power to save us. And then what do those things mean to me, not only in the way that I receive them, but also in, if I share them, you know, if I receive mercy, then I should share mercy. If God has shown me favor, then I should show favor. And we have this great power in our God to save us. And that's something that we should be sharing really with everybody that we know. Um, another um, kind of takeaway for me from, from a psalm like this, not only is this rem a reminder for me, just kind of bring me back but also for the hope of what's to come multiple times. He says, may the nations praise you. May the nations praise you. May the nations praise you. We know that the nations are not in whole totality praising God. There are believers, God's church is all over the globe, but as nations, we're not praising God. But we know someday that Jesus is going to return. He's going to restore order, right? And we will praise him. And then we will, uh, the earth, as verse six says, will yield its harvests and God will richly bless us. God will bless us. So there's this, there's this then and will, kind of this future tense of what's to come with God's blessing when the nations um, um, praise him when order is restored. So I kind of use that idea of, from this psalm of um, kind of what God has done, this remembrance, and then looking forward, this hope that I have. So let me share with you my prayer, and hopefully this helps. Uh, you a little bit with yours. God, you are the source of all blessings. Thank you for showing mercy to me. Help me to show mercy to others. Father, my prayer is that you will be pleased, that my life will bring a smile to your face and your favor on me. I do not ever want to forget the power that you have to save me. May I never forget that I need to be saved. Thank you for your mercy, favor, and saving power. One day, I wait for the day that all the nations praise you and order will be restored. One day, creation will return to the Creator and experience your rich blessing. May that day come soon. Until that day, help me to praise you each day that I'm given. Thank you for your love and care for me. Amen. So I hope that helps you today in this psalm, Psalm 67. Read it a few times. Look for the words that kind of jump off the page to you. Uh, something that you need to confess, something you can thank God for, and something you need to ask Him for. Let this text kind of drive you, um, your thoughts, and then be able to convert that to a prayer. I hope you guys have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.